An emotional evening for family, friends, and fellow members of law enforcement as we mark one year since canine deputy Ned Bird was killed in the line of duty. His death is a loss for so many folks in our area, including the employees and regulars at a popular business here in Raleigh. CBS 17's Gilat Malamud is live tonight with more on how Deputy Bird is being honored. Gilat. The owner of Lola's Beach Bar and Restaurant tells me Deputy Ned Bird was well known and well loved here. Through this memorial and photos of him that hang throughout the restaurant, his memory lives on. That's a lot better. The Wake County Sheriff's Office, Kyuglitsu Community, and countless close friends all have a void left by the killing of canine deputy Ned Bird. You know, he's just a wonderful person. Um, there are not many like him. And at Lola's Beach Bar and Restaurant, a big part of Lola's is missing. Owner Larry Carter works to fill the void. It's sad and sucks to not see him here. Left by someone who was far more than a loyal customer. And this was his spot. This is where he enjoyed to be. And he was a big part of the, the Lola's clientele as, you know, as much as a part of the place itself. This memorial is for the one year anniversary of Bird's passing, but every day Carter makes sure Bird is still a presence at the bar. That's kind of where he sat and did his thing. His regular stool, now truly his and canine Sasha's, labeled with his badge number two. 397. On the wall is a flag with a thin blue line that has coins Carter glued on himself. Uh, after his funeral, all of those coins were left by police department. And a photo of canine Sasha staring down Deputy Bird's beer. He would always come and eat and drink. This same thing, a macho burrito and Dos Equis Amber. With no line. But Bird didn't just come for a good meal. Carter says the two were close friends for about 17 years, meeting through jujitsu. One of the greatest friends I've ever known, a completely selfless guy. A selflessness known by all employees, keeping his phone number behind the bar so they could call him if something went wrong. That number is still here. Feet away from a photo of the deputy's funeral procession, passing by the bar he loved. You know, I guess as time goes on, it gets easier to accept, but I don't really think it ever gets easier. Anymore. The stool is blocked off today for the anniversary, but Carter says usually people are allowed to sit on it. Throughout the weekend, there will be several events honoring Deputy Bird's life, including a jiu-jitsu training tomorrow at PNC Arena. Carter will be one of the coaches. Live in Raleigh, Gilad Malamed, CBS 17 News. A wonderful remembrance. All right, Gilad, thank you.